And we're broadcasting this address by the Prime Minister Boris Johnson on the latest measures in the pandemic. Since the pandemic began and last now year. Tonight's other major story the U.S. approaching another dreadful milestone. Nearly 500,000 American lives lost since the first reported death in this country just a little bit. that was year first ago. identified in London and the Southeast may be associated with a higher. Do not degree. wreck this now. The concern is based on rising case numbers. Researchers are racing to find out whether it is more contagious, more deadly, and whether the current vaccines work against. The weeks ahead will be the hardest yet. The pandemic came out of Eastern Europe, small Soviet germ warfare lab in Romania that leaked, according to the internet. They call it SARS spectrovirus, but everybody calls it Spectre or just the spec. It's all over the world now. The ghosts caused mass panics when they first showed up. Everyone watched too much TV and expected a zombie apocalypse but they weren't dangerous. They just appeared outside your house. Your mum or your nan, your uncle, your son. They looked just like in life, but paler and hard to focus on, like in a heat haze. Except they're cold. You can feel their chill. Anyway, that's all they do. They stand there, outside where you live, watching. As the pandemic raged and the hospitals filled up, you saw more and more of them in suburban streets and outside apartment blocks, staring up at windows. You weaved past them on the pavement, muttering apologies, though they never respond. You felt in the way as you carried your shopping home or went for a jog. They were visible signs of loss, like scars, like tears. I saw a scientist online explain how the virus interacts with the dying brain, sending out an electromagnetic pulse, something about quantum signatures. TLDR, not really ghosts, just echoes of a person in their last moments. So why are they outside our homes? My older brother Craig went down with the spec. We weren't allowed in the ICU. Then he was there, outside my house, at the end of the path, just staring at the front door. Craig doesn't make eye contact, but when I leave the house he turns his head like he's aware of me passing. There's a look on his face, concerned, anxious, disappointed. It makes me feel bad, passing him like that. So I stay in, make shopping orders online. When the news gets alarming or the loneliness burdensome, I open the front door and we look at each other, not quite making eye contact, but there for each other. Me at home, Craig watching over me. Because that's what they're doing, I think. The dead are watching over us. They're making us stay home. Not by frightening us, but by loving us. So that we feel guilty shouldering past them. So that we stay where they can see us. While in the empty streets, spectre consumes itself like a cold flame. If you enjoyed Spectre, listen to more Daily Ghost Stories and please like and subscribe.